Last week was AEW All Out. The show did over 200,000 buys. They took in over $5 million in revenue. That's Their split was over $5 million. And then on Wednesday, AEW beat Raw in the 18-49 to 49 demo. Now, some people got very mad about that because Dave wrote something in The Observer, and somebody wrote this big, long thing to me. They were so mad about it. He wrote something like they, they beat Raw in the cable ratings or something. They're like, oh, no, Raw had one point. Blah, blah. Listen. The cable charts are ranked by the 18-49 to 49 viewership, okay? So if AEW had aired on Monday, okay, if AEW and Raw had gone head-to-head on Monday, or if you want to rank, like, the weekly, uh, you know, Monday through Friday, rank every show, AEW beat Raw. Because they rank it by the number of viewers in 18 to 49. And AEW Dynamite had more viewers 18 to 49 than Raw. So if you make a chart, if Showbiz Daily or Showbuzz Daily made a chart, and they ranked all shows as they normally do for the week, AEW is above Raw. They beat them, okay? If you don't like that, that's fine. But, like, that's what happened. So, now, all of these changes to Raw... I've had to hear all day that it's not because of AEW. It's because of football. All right? Now listen to me. If you want to bury your head in the sand, like, that's fine. You can do that. Whatever. But the reason that everything has changed on Raw is absolutely 100% because of what happened on Wednesday with AEW doing more 18 to 49 viewers than Raw. I know it. You know it. People within WWE know it. That's why it happened. Now, there is a a, a portion of the fan base that they will not accept this. It's because of football, they say. Listen. If I were a massive, diehard, to-the-death fan of WWE, which, like, which is, which is better to you as a diehard fan of WWE? Is it better to say, well, Arrival did a very good number, and so WWE, as a business, decided to change course and decide that they're going to load up a show so that they can give you, the viewer, a better product and hopefully do a better number, okay? Or do you think it's better to say, well, between last Monday and this Monday, somebody found out the football season was starting. Brother, you know how many football games I've watched in my life? How many? One. One, one, one in my life. It was the Super Bowl that the Seahawks were playing in. I went to my buddy Dave Gray's house. He had a big old barbecue. I ate a bunch of food and I watched it. I've watched one football game in my life. One! And I knew that football season is starting this coming Monday. So, as a diehard WWE fan, you're more comfortable stating, oh, they ran a show last week, and then, in the meantime, they found out, my God! The football season is starting this Monday. We got to change everything. If I were a die-hard WWE fan, I would feel foolish if that was what happened with this company. They didn't know football was starting this weekend. Obviously, they got spooked by this number. Obviously, there's a reaction to AEW. You guys remember what happened on Raw last Monday? I'll tell you. They did a show-long gauntlet, Okay. They did an hour of a gauntlet, and then they did a schmoz, and they said, oh, we're going to give these two teams time to rest, and we're going to come back later in the show for the other half of the gauntlet. In a three-hour show, two hours of the show was devoted to a gauntlet. What was the gauntlet about? Well, 
the winners of the gauntlet, were facing Randy Orton and Riddle this week. So between last Monday and this Monday, they just threw everything out the window. Oh, we're not going to do that title match anymore. We're going to move Randy Orton into a championship match on Monday to face Bobby Lashley. And then over the weekend, oh, well, now now Big E has vowed to cash in. This is 100%, 100% a reaction to the number the Dynamite did on Wednesday. If you can't see that, I don't know what to tell you, but that's what it is. I would prefer to say it's a reaction to that as a fan than to say that they're so incompetent that they booked a whole Raw last Monday and then the next day found out that football was the following Monday. If you would like to believe that they're that completely incompetent, like, go ahead. But it's not defending WWE. That's actually making WWE look worse. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.